this seed was given to us by God. We have sovereign right to this seed. It is a symbol of our freedom to be who we are, to grow what we want to grow, to eat what we want to eat, to share what we want to share. It's a birthright and it is a symbol of our cultural heritage. I found my life's purpose growing this local seed and distributing it far and wide. And yes, I have been threatened, but I'm not phased. It's something that I'm prepared to die for. No one has got the right to come and dictate to us which seed to grow, which seed to keep, which seed to share. What right do they have? Can they be above God who gave us this seed? Let me tell you one thing. Every day, I get on my knees and I pray to God and I come against these multinationals that are trying to destroy our seed sovereignty. And they will not succeed. You will not succeed. At the end of the day, it is these bullies, these multinationals who benefit, not us. We are slowly killing ourselves and we are slowly killing off the environment while they go away happy with the fat bank accounts. You cannot fight God. You can intimidate us. You can bully me, but you will never succeed against God. And I will never stop growing this maze because it was given to me by God. I really get upset that a man, a person, an organization can take it upon themselves to dictate to everybody in the world how they should live their lives, what they should eat, what seed to grow. What right do you have? You've got no right. And I repeat myself, you will not succeed. It doesn't matter how many people you kill in the process, but you are not going to succeed. And my husband and I will not stop growing this local seed. In fact, we are looking for bigger tracts of land where we can grow this on a larger scale. You don't intimidate us. We fear only God, not man.